Good morning, gentlemen and ladies. How is everybody doing? Welcome everybody to the Cantec webinar series on the Intevo Gen 2. This is the second part of our Intevo series, uh, part of the webinar series. And this one is a bit more technical, but still high level on how to deploy the Intevo. So what do I do? I bought an Intevo, very good. I'm very happy. How do you deploy it? First, we're gonna focus slightly more on the Intevo Advanced. It is not a huge difference on the Intevo Advanced or Compact on how you deploy this. The Intevo Advanced does come with Windows 10 Enterprise Edition, which comes with the latest, greatest of Windows 10. Uh, some of the cool things are the firewall is actually on now. The Windows updates, Defender, and UAC are up configured specifically for Windows, right? It's specifically made for us. So when you get the box, all your settings are, are active and properly deployed. You do have an i5 processor, like we saw last time, with four USBs and HDMI ports, right? So very fast device on the hardware side. Now, as we saw the other time, we do have the Intevo Compact, which is on top, and the Intevo Advanced. The Intevo Advanced is what we're gonna focus a bit today, but it's mostly software driven. The Compact reacts the same way, right? Uh, so let's go see how would you do it. So you unpack the box, nice little package, a uh, well-packaged uh, box. In there, you have all the plugs you need, right? You have the, the power cords, you have your adapter, and you have your Intevo itself. Very simply, uh, you have, it's one adapter for the world, and then you have different outlets for each one. So match the one that matches to your plug in your region, and then plug it in, right? But it's one adapter per Intevo, obviously, but one adapter for the entire world. So our friends in uh, South America have a different adapter compared to Europe and, and Asia and so on. It's all included in there. It does come also with two little brackets, so you can install these brackets directly onto the Intevo and install that on the wall if you want. So if you ever want to install an Intevo under a desk or a wall, those four little screws, you attach them on the Intevo, and then using your screws, uh, you attach them um, to the wall however you want. Okay, these are not for server racks, but um, for the wall racks. You want to put on the wall, for example, or next to our nice, beautiful KT ones or KT four hundreds. Uh, there's two ways to connect to the Intevo, right? The first thing we do is we plug in our HDMI or our display port. So if you have a newer monitor, a really high-end monitor, you end up using the display port if you want, or the HDMI. And then we plug in the power of the Intevo. We recommend first, if you're doing this through a monitor and a screen, um, if you actually attach the HDMI or display port first, and then you power the actual Intevo. If you do this after, you're gonna have to play around with the cables a bit. That's the first way of doing it. Now, if you put this in a server room, you most likely won't have any kind of a monitor or screen or KVM switch or any of the above, all the above, right? Now, what we can do here is uh, use a remote configuration tool. This remote configuration tool can be plugged in on any computer other than the Intel, obviously, and this will allow you to configure and find intervals. Kind of like how we have the Illustra camera tool finder, this goes and finds intervals. It does come with a package, so it comes in the same box with all your adapters. You also get this remote configuration tool. It does give you some extra tools in it, uh, but the most preferable one is the, uh, um, the configuration tool, which will let you find stuff, which is very easy. You plug in the Intevo, you run the configuration tool, and this will scan your network for all available Intevos, right? So you plug in the Intevo, you plug in the Ethernet port in this case, 
because you do use an Ethernet at a minimum, right? And then this will find uh, your intervals across your network. You do require DHCP at least for this to work. So most customers do have DHCP on their uh, network, regardless, a router, if you have internet, right? If not, you go direct with a camera, uh, display uh, screen and keyboard and mouse. Now, uh, once you connect to the website, it brings you up the configuration tool. And this configuration tool uh, opens up right away and you can configure your Intevo entirely. Now the next part, whether you go through your direct screen or you go through the configuration, are identical, right? Uh, it's very important to note that if you go through a third-party computer, you need to use Internet Explorer. Yes, we know, Internet Explorer. And it does require Silverlight to actually run the page the first time. You'll get a warning to install Silverlight, which you then install and you start using. It's an eight-step wizard uh, that's required to deploy the Intevo. Now, it's it's very easy, and I'm not, not going to go through all the eight steps for you. Some of them are just marketing or agreements and so on. So I'm going to go through the most important steps, the ones you need to be mostly aware of or should know. First is choose the language. So again, uh, we have different regions. If you want to have 18 different intervals, you want it in French, you put it in French. You want it in Spanish, you put it in Spanish, right? Whatever language is supported, we support a few languages there. They're all marked at the bottom. You choose the one you want. And then you configure your uh, Intevo settings, the computer name, the time zone, just Windows generic settings. A lot of us don't know how to get to Windows and change half these things, right? So we leave them all by default and nothing works half the time on our computers. Well, now we have a wizard that goes, go there, click on these settings, and you'll be done, right? The next thing we do is we configure our Ethernet ports. Now, what I like about this part is that it's mostly a plug and play solution. We give you all the defaults. Now, if you wish to change them, you're more than likely to change them to different ports. And even asks you, what web service port are you gonna be using for your enterprise web? How are you gonna connect to it, right? Which port are you plugging in your corporate network on? Because as you guys know, the Intevo has two Ethernet ports. The first one is for the considered corporate network where you plug it into your, your business. And the second Ethernet port is considered a camera network where you plug in your cameras generically, right? Uh, attached to that on a private network. Some people like to flip it around. They're more than welcome. We just gotta know which one it is, right? And, and a lot of these uh, questions came from the first Intevo. You guys told us I had to do this extra five steps to get my Intevo going. Well, guess what? With the Intevo Gen 2, these five, six steps that are important are now included in the wizard. So this way, you don't have to do them afterwards. You don't have to go hunting for this information. It's a wizard, step-by-step -step guide. Press next, next, you fill it up, and you're done. All right? On the same step, step five, you can deploy your PoE ports on your Intevo. Uh, your Intevo Advanced comes with eight PoE ports, if you don't remember, and the Intevo comes with a whopping four. Now, the cool part with the Intevo Compact is that the Intevo Compact has four PoE ports, and, and those are all configured under one DHCP server. Yes, they provide their own DHCP server directly on it. Whereas the Intevo uh, Advanced has eight PoE ports, and four of them, so the first four, have their own DHCP server. So their own, their own range of addresses that we give, right? DHCP from 10.1 is the range, and then the 11.1 for the next range for every port. Whereas the last four ports share that one DHCP server. So the last four ports are the same ranges of IP addresses you're going to get. What does that mean for you? To make your life easy, you can plug in your IKT 400 controllers over IP, and they're going to grab an IP address from port 7 to 10. Okay. Um, the benefit of that is very easy. Now, you could change the settings in here if you want to have a different DHCP address or server for each one. Port Ethernet 1 and 2 don't generate 
on a DHCP address, obviously, because if you plug that address into your network, guess what happens? IT calls you and says, hey guys, why are you generating an IP address? So Ethernet port one and two don't generate an IP address. You have to plug it like a regular computer for it to work, all right? So again, you don't have to go, you don't need to know Windows to configure this. You just fill up these uh, eight steps. So most of them are pretty much plug and play and you're pretty much done, right? One of the steps is software. This is really fun. So it's very simple. You have a choice of auto deploying exact vision the way you want. And what version do you want by default? By default, you can specify that exact vision comes with uh, no no exact vision. I don't want to install exact vision for whatever reason. I don't, I don't, I don't think you should, but you could. It also will come install install automatically for you exact 9.4. That's the one that comes with the box. Now, if it's if your Intevo is already plugged in on the network, right? Because of the previous steps, it will go and grab and download the newest version automatically for you and install that version for you. You don't even see that. Until I told you that it does that, we had no idea. It automatically goes and downloads the newest version of Exact Vision from the cloud. Now, if you're not privileged of to have internet yet, you can always use a USB memory device, like a USB stick, and, and plug it in to download, to upload or copy the newest version. So you go to the exact website, you download the exact, uh, whatever they're at now, 19 something or 20, and then you plug it in uh, uh, and it automatically updates, right? And then, or if you don't have anything, it will install 9.4. Uh, now, before you panic, 9.4 and, 9 and version 20 are not that far apart. As you guys are aware, recently Exact changed the way they not name their versions. Now they go by here. So 9.4 uh, 9 is probably 19, uh, 19, uh, 2019, somewhere around there. Whereas now there are 20, which is 2020. So it's only a few months old, uh, but again, it auto updates for you. 